We're going to start by creating a pneumatic system. And now you might be thinking, what the heck does that mean? Well, its meaning comes from the Greek word pneuma, which means air. So pneumatics just means a mechanical device that's powered by air. So how does that work? Well, if we squash air into a container, the technical term is to compress the air, we have a form of storing energy. Because the air is pressurized and wants to come out, we can get it to do work. If we direct the air with the hose or tube, we can get it to power different mechanisms that can move things up and down or make them spin. We're going to use it to launch a mini rocket, which sounds pretty cool, right? Okay. So to build the system, you're going to need to take the big syringe and connect it to the plastic tube. Then take one of your smaller syringes and cut the bottom off at the line on the end. It works best to use a sharp craft knife to do this. So ask an adult to help you with this part. Now correct the syringe to the other side of the tube. Unplug the syringe again and put the largest cardboard disc between the spout and the tube. Then reconnect it. Slide the other circles on top in descending order of size. Now take your three side pieces and slot them into the slots in the sides of the discs. Use your glue to stick them in place and let it dry. You'll find that you have two wooden discs in your kit. Take one with a hole in the middle and put that aside for later. Take the other one and use this as the base for your rocket launcher. Now that your launcher is dry, let's make some rockets. Take your craft knife, remember to ask an adult to help you, and cut the bottom piece off the syringe plunger. Choose a colored piece of card and cut a strip that's as wide as the length of the syringe end that you just cut. Carefully roll your cardboard strip around a paper stick to make it into a cylinder. Wind it around the cut piece of your syringe and then glue it along the end. Now pull the big syringe piston all the way back so that it's fully open and then use your paper stick to push your colorful rocket right down into the launcher. Give the big syringe's piston a firm push and watch your rocket take off. Okay, so you'll see that there are a couple of pieces left over in your kit, so we decided we'd give you a little bonus project. Take the tip of the syringe that you cut off earlier and stick it into the hole of your wooden disc. You might need to make the hole a tiny bit bigger by turning it a few times on the blade of your scissors. Now take the balloon that's in your kit and tie it to the end of the syringe with an elastic band. Blow up your balloon from the other side, and now you have a balloon-powered hovercraft. It does work best on a smooth, flat surface. See how high you can get your rocket to shoot by experimenting with different sizes and shapes of rockets. You can make them your own by making them into different colors and decorating them. Just make sure that they still fit into the launcher. Nice. And if you want to show us your custom rockets, tag us in your pictures on Instagram. Thanks for watching. I hope you had a lot of fun with this project. I certainly did. And remember, stay curious.